welcome back. This is the second part of uh, my pneumatic cannon robot and I have here some upgrades. Let's uh, go one by one. Now I have 3D printed model, not uh, this one that I had last, last time. And uh, it looks, works and do everything really better than what I did here. I disassembled uh, laser pointer edit its automate signal from USB. Also, we connected joystick, and now it's worked perfectly. I had a problem that it's uh, when it go to some position, it all the time goes back. But I change analog signal, analog input. The PSP uh, turn it to incremental, and so each time uh, ESP is high here, it's uh, do some small steps in servo motors and then uh, drop the signal basically uh, every 100 milliseconds ESP reads is it high or it's low and uh, this is how I get this movement it's uh, much simpler from this angle basically here I have a lot of wires first time I use transistors and uh, Capacitors, yeah, something that I, what I didn't use before, but it works pretty well. Also here I have all that screen. It's more or less for troubleshooting. Just understand what's happening. This button is for turn on and off laser pointer. This to shoot a cannon. This will be our chance to shoot. And I hope I'm not so opportunistic. <laughs> I bring some grapes and uh, let's put them and try to shot them. For these tests, I will use those uh, piece of wires just like bullets. So let's put it in. Turn our laser on. Oop. And It was difficult, but it seems it will be the right fit. And let's push our red button. Yep. As we saw, uh, at least what I saw, I don't hit directly with the wire this uh, grape, but. Um, more like with the pressurized air but yeah i think it's also a problem of that wire is not very good bullet and it's just go everywhere and also grape is pretty small okay i think it's uh, that's all for second part of this video but what i think i will do next i want to optimize this uh, joystick because you saw how difficult it is to do this micro movements so i need it to make more uh, sensitive or less sensitive and also what I will try in the fourth part of this uh, big video I will try to use this ESP32 Wi-Fi model because I think it could be interesting just to use my phone to operate this little cannon so please if you like what you saw like subscribe and see you in the next one thank you